Hello, this is Trends. I am Bumi Obanao. And as always, our online producer, Moses Omogena, is right here with me. So what's trending, Moses? Um, a lot. Um, thank you once again for joining us today on The Trend. Um, you know, as always, a lot has been trending um, across Africa, South Africa, Kenya, and Nigeria. Seems to be the three major countries that have been trending in two weeks in a row now. You know, from South Africa, we have the, you know, the Oscar Preservatives mm -hmm. case is still ongoing. You know, they're still trying, forensic basically, are still trying to decipher, you know, which, where to go and where is the case really heading. That's the big mm. question right now. Now, in Kenya, the Q&A is still going on, the question and answer, where the federal government gets to open, you know, a Twitter page or a blog. And, you know, citizens are allowed to ask any questions they want from how they're governed or, you know, and to their pay and to anything they want. And I am think I it's... Only, <laughs> yeah, I might only want to find that quite a task. Because Why? millions of people will be sending in comments. Exactly. How do you sift that? Well, well it's, um, it's, it's a lot to take in. It's a lot imagine. to deal with. But at the same time, it lets the government know the mind, mind of, of the, the people. people. So what, what exactly, how do they want us to, to you know, to how, do, how do they better. want them to be served and to, you know, to be led? Mm. So, yeah, I think it's a fantastic idea. Now, coming back home to Nigeria, Nigeria seems to be trending, you know, um, Tragically, let me put it that way. Mm -hmm. Last week it was the Boko Haram insurgency, which, by the way, is still ongoing. Mm -hmm. And um, now we have another yet tragic issue, which you'll be dishing out a bit. So yes. let's not keep the cat out of the bag yet. Uh, and <laughs> you know, you can join the conversation by sharing your views with us via Twitter at TVC Trends, comment on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash TVC Trends, and send your pictures and video comments to the trends at TVC News. TV. Now, the recent nationwide recruitment test by the Nigerian Immigration Service has generated widespread attention and criticism over the poor handling of the exercise. Now, the exercise led to the death of over 16 applicants and left many more injured. Reports have it that 6 million people applied for the job and about 530,000 people were invited for the test to fill just about 4,000 spaces. Today on the program, we examine what went wrong and the, with the recruitment process and what should have been. But first of all, let's take a look at this. in the top government people they have slots. Immigration is a failure. Abamoro is a failure. Look at the future of the people. It's quite unfortunate. This condition is quite very pathetic. We, we the youth, we are going to fight for ourselves. Applicants are frustrated. They have bad planning. How can you imagine such number of graduate, unemployed graduate like this in this country and you expect this country in peace? Welcome back. Now looking at that video, <laughs> I'm forced to say it was it wasn't just in one place. It happened everywhere. Yeah. yeah. And it, it was, was the it was same nationwide. everywhere. You know, I, you know, as much as I've seen that video a couple of times, every time I see it, I'm amazed. I'm upset. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, for God's sakes, here I am, I put myself in their shoes and I'm going to get a job and then I get mugged. I get, you know, and Bitten. Yeah, I, saw, I, 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 saw, I still I can't whip my head around it. I still can't whip my head around it. I really don't like. I, I do. I oh, just I, I do not like physical pain, <laughs> <laughs> you know, of any type. So I got. Um, anyway, so joining us to discuss the issue is Shola Kolako, a graduate of physical and health education from the University of Lagos, who also participated in the Lagos exercise. So we'll be getting first-hand information. And via Skype, we have Okpeyemi Owoyemi. He's a co-founder of Jobberman, one of Nigeria's biggest job search engines and also a recruitment platform. Now, Shola. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, first of all, yeah. tell us about the application process. Now, before that day, okay. what was the process like? From the immigration? Yeah, so yeah. before the actual exercise okay. that day, so from okay. where, to when qualify. you heard about it okay. to exam. when it actually came. Okay. To pass. Like the normal um, setting in Nigeria, you have to go on earth, fill the form, mm. uh, print out the sleep, then move to the bank, pay the normal um, required uh, 
amount of money depending on what uh, 1000 naira driver yes so ha you uh, you found out about the job opportunity on yes their on websites yes so on their website uh, and then to you apply log for in. it log in print out a slip mm -hmm. that you take to the bank pay the fee did you have to when you registered there are certain questions obviously that you were required find to find everything about you the school okay. you attended, your Just qualification, basic data. Or the basic data about so you. So when you got to the exam venue, okay. tell us what was it like? What was the experience like? Well, you're supposed to, I, I think they, they, they invited for an interview. You're supposed to get there by 7 a.m. in the morning. That was on Saturday last week. Hmm. And on getting there, I got there before 7. And it was a massive, and massive crowd. Massive, mm. how massive? What, what, what are we talking about here? Wow, I can just explain. Like but it was so scary paint that... Paint a picture for us. Paint. Yes, it's it filled to the brain. And believe me, you people are still like expecting more people to come in. And mm -hmm. I was wondering where I was going to sit for the examination. Initially, they asked us um, to come to the basketball court, which is just about... Um, That's the basketball court at the stadium. At the stadium. Okay. Yes, that was the initial plan okay. of the immigration to sit for the examination mm -hmm. um, at the basketball court. But it was a very, very small place where it's not even up to 10,000 capacity. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, they had to transfer us from there when they saw the crowd, crowd. And down to the main bowl. And um, the, the, what I actually noticed is that they are not very organized. They don't know what they want to do. What exactly did you notice that went wrong? I mean, you got there at 7 a.m. on okay, time, yeah. and you saw this massive crowd, crowd. which you know, at, as you can see on the screen. Yes. And, and, and when I was watching, they, they were yeah. like tiny ants all over the place. All over the place. Yeah, so when you saw this massive crowd, yeah. what exactly did you notice that, you know, what was supposed to be, you know, done on their part to make okay. you guys comfortable yeah. before the exams and stuff like that? I think um, like a day to the examination, mm -hmm. they, they should have, uh, the authorities should have sent people down there, like if they, are, they should have some like batch BSCs, you're having your home today, blah, 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 then maybe the ONDs or whatever. Okay, you have okay before, I will come back to you, but I need okay. to bring Okpayemi into this okay. conversation now. Okay. Now, Okpayemi, aside from the fact that you have Hello. a search engine that provides, you know, information on various job opportunities, you also assist with recruitment process for different companies. Now, what went wrong with this one? That's right. In your opinion, what went wrong? Um, in my in my own opinion, basically what went wrong was planning. Um, typically for jobs, uh, even on the job man, we get between 100 and 500 applications for one row. So I think if you look at the ratio of number of applications to the number of rows that they actually have to fill, I think it's fair enough. But in terms of planning, that was where things went wrong. You don't think that you cannot interview that number of people in the studio. It just can work. Okay, so Mr. Okweyemi, from your level of experience on recruitment, um, what do you think the NIS should have done or put in place to, you know, get to manage that huge yeah. amount of crowd? Well, there shouldn't have been a crowd in the first place. Yes. In this day, 21st century, there are a lot of other options hmm. that allow that number of people to be interviewed without having to put them all in one place, especially a stadium where there are no chairs or no tables. So the best solution that we prefer in this kind of case would have been for them to use folk thought centers. We have them all over the country. Okay. Interestingly, um, the government has claimed um, through uh, the Vista and some other technology agencies to have set up centers, um, technology centers all over the country where there are pieces where they could actually have put up examination. We also have private um, institutions who have set up with um, center show as well. I wouldn't want to mention these organizations on, on, on yeah. TV. Please so it, it shouldn't have happened. It, it shouldn't have happened at the stadium in the first place. Okay. It should have conducted exams over the period of say 30 days. Okay. Um, I know you were saying yes, you know, when, yeah. when um, Okpayemi was talking. So yeah. what, what do you have to say about that? Well, you believe I that there should have not been a crowd? There should not have been a crowd, like what I said before. Mm. Why not, um, if you're having 5,000 applicants, mm -hmm. and maybe it be, uh, like some days before then, mm -hmm. have a program where you get them in batches mm -hmm. till you get it. BSC wouldn't have been much as that. 
ond wouldn't have been much a start you have dates for them let bsc do the ass so so dates like that let it go that way so there won't be that much crowd okay so you just set different days set different for days for different yeah. okay all this right okay so. all right so um let's let's um, hold it there but um <laughs> before we take it further um a lot of people have been you know sending in their video comments and um tweets and including celebrities as well like Darren Lee we got a video comment a video selfie from Darren Lee who you know was obviously upset about the um, immigration oh, saga so <coughs> let's have a look at it so I don't understand the country where people go to write exams to get employed and to be useful to themselves and then they die I don't get that. I mean, what 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 lesson are we teaching other countries, other developing countries? This is so 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 sad. I can't go for an I can't go to write an exam just to get employed anymore. I mean, it's it's funny, it's crazy, it's sick, it's disheartening, and most of all, it's a tragedy. My condolences to those families, to the families that lost their loved ones in the stampede. And um, I really hope that things get better in the Okay, so we have heard people talk. You were there. Okay. So you're also still talking. Okay. Now, what was the general feeling? Did the exam actually, did the test still hold? Oh, because oh, some people, oh. talking to a lot of people, some people yeah. are saying, well, I still wrote it and I had to run after the um, official to, yeah. you know, submit. We got a couple so of messages you, from Emo State, the East, exactly. you know, so that they wrote very, the very test. Very um, um, uh, stories from different people. Now, what's your story? Did you write that exam? I didn't write the exams. It's getting choked up and people are like coming and people are falling down and, you know, it's so annoying. I just had to call my mom and like, Mommy, I'm coming home. Okay, I so can't write left. the exam. I have to leave. When, when you Even after leaving, I have a friend that, was, that stood behind and he told me they didn't write any test. All they did was to get the sleep that you print out from the internet. At what time pay. of the day was this already? I think like 2.30 to 3 p.m. And none of the officials came up to, you know, well, they're like they're asking us to sit down, blah, 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 you know, under the sun, just sit down, get yourself a seat. They're coming, we're still writing the exams and all that. But with the look of things at that point, at that time, 2 to 30, there's nothing that could go on. Now, because although you got prepared. there at 7 a.m., when, um, when did it actually start? Start attending to us like, um, let's say past 11, and they attend why what they were telling us, like, okay, we're having the BSC to come up first for the examination and all that. Take your seat like that, let the OND and all the qualifications move to the back and all that, you know. That well, must have fine, been pretty rowdy, I yeah, can imagine. Very rowdy, and with, uh, while trying to go in into the stadium, and people will start to start falling down. All right, and so, okay, okay, when we come back, we'll talk more about this, but first of all. Let's go on a short break and we'll continue when we come back.